Alleged civil unrest instigator, advocate Ike Kumalo, is likely to face an additional charge of treason. Kumalo will appear in the Johannesburg Regional Court today, where he's expected to apply for bail. Newsroom Africa senior reporter Malum Gerboy has the details. Advocate Ike Kumalo is one of at least five people who have now been arrested in Gauteng for inciting violence. The 49-year-old faces six charges linked to contravening the Cyber Crimes and Righteous Assemblies Act. The state alleges that Kumalo, who was arrested last month, created damaging content and posted it on social media platforms. And as a result, prosecutors are now working on a possible additional charge of treason. The, the allegations um, are that the accused uh, instructs the general public to, to start to kill them, to kill the politicians, uh, to burn their houses. And if you can't find them, go to the relatives' houses and burn that and kill them. Um, so uh, the crux of it is that he seems upset by the way that the, the politicians are running this country. He's saying that the politicians are looting from the people. So to me that seems to be a form of insurrection, that he's trying to attack the actual governance of this country. The state had wanted the accused to be held in police custody for another seven days without a bail hearing. This was meant for the treason charge to be added and also to ensure that the second search warrant by investigators is successfully executed at a property owned by Kumalo's relatives. But the defense was having none of it. Honestly, a further seven days to the current seven days that you already have, it's like torture worship. Kumalo's lawyer, Buko Sisibanda, says a charge of treason won't affect the nature of the proceedings, describing the charge as nothing but a witch hunt. Sibanda also dismissed claims by the state that it battles to enforce the second such warrant. But at the end of the arguments, the court dismissed the state's application. Now, if this matter is as serious as the state alleges at this stage, then one would think that it strikes at the governance of the country and therefore the, uh, the Minister of Police Alternatively, the Minister of State, Safety and Security, alternatively, the commissioners in the South African Police Services would have immediately um, assigned the case to a special investigator who would work on it round the clock to ensure that all the necessary evidence is retrieved within a reasonably short period of time before destruction thereof. So what I have before me is a very unconvincing argument by the prosecution uh, to be granted this, these additional days to finalize its investigation. This means Kumalo will on Wednesday bring along a formal bail application at the Johannesburg Regional Court. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Malunge Lupoi in Boisens.